Hey everybody, this is Brett and I am extremely excited to show you our very first 2022 WL new body style Jeep Grand Cherokee two row vehicle that we have had on our lot. This is an Overland package. It has the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. It's going to put out 357 horsepower, 390 foot pounds of torque. It's going to get you 22 miles per gallon on the highway, 14 city, and an average of 17 miles per gallon. Now, all of our Grand Cherokees that we've gotten in have been L's. So this is the uh, first normal one that we've gotten in. Now, just a side note that this is being run alongside the WK2 body style for 2022. So the old body style Grand Cherokees is being run alongside, but this is our very first WL body style. Diamond black is the color, and we are shooting this video in 4K today. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, I highly recommend turning them on right now because it is your best way to check out the looks, styling, color, and options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. And uh, if you like how we do the video, in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Consider clicking that and then click the bell notifications and you'll get updates every time we do the videos of our new and used inventory here at Summit Auto. So first off, you'll notice that the grill is uh, almost completely um, perpendicular there. Seven slotted grill, you get the chrome trim on the Overland package as well as the chrome lettering on the hood. The chrome tow hooks has the LED fog lamps, the LED headlamps, the LED running lights. And we're gonna turn on all those lights at the end of the video. This is black diamond metallic, so it's got just a little bit of metal flake in it. Um, really looks good in the sunlight. It's almost got a little bit of gold to it. It's gonna come with the 20 inch painted and polished aluminum rims and it has Bridgestone Acopia HL422 plus tires. These are 265 50R20s and you can see they have an all-terrain tread pattern to them. This one has the air suspension in it as well. Notice you get the Grand Cherokee lettering on the side there in chrome. You get the chrome trim on the mirrors and then that goes up along over the doors there. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. So 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4x4, diamond black, global black interior, 5.7 Hemi, eight speed automatic. Automatically comes with the Jeep Wave system, has the Quadratrack 2 system, select terrain, adaptive cruise control and everything on the left there is your standard equipment so the quadra lift air suspension is standard on the overland interior features you get the uconnect 5 um, which comes with the 8 and 8.4 inch radio which is actually upgraded in this one we'll get to that in just a second um, but everything on your left is your standard interior features and then your exterior features come with the 20 inch rims and tires, the bifunctional LED projector headlamps and LED tail lamps. Diamond black exterior is 395. The luxury tech group four is 2155. Comes with Napa leather, rear view auto dimming digital display mirror, wireless charge pad, power driver seat with back massager, 12 way power adjustable driver seat, power front and passenger seat with back massager, um, 12 way power adjustable front passenger seat, passenger memory seat, and manual second row window shades, AC with four zone automatic temperature control, and the 5.7 Hemi is a $37.95 option. Also comes with the Uconnect 5 Nav with 10.1 inch touchscreen display, and that gives you the 19 speaker high performance audio as well as the 950 watt amplifier for a total of 1935. Total MSRP is 66,315, uh, three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60. There is your fuel economy on there. And uh, because it's the Hemi, it doesn't get the best ratings, but kind of in the middle for a smog. Um, 
So anywhere, anyways, it's not rated for government crash test ratings either. So we'll finish walking around the outside here and then we'll check out that amazing new interior for the Grand Cherokee. Four wheel disc brakes, you get the LED tail lamps. Notice you get the chrome trim on the roof rack rails as well. You get the dual rear exhaust, backup parking sensors, the towing package, you get a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. And remember with the Hemi, you can tow up to 7,200 pounds. With the 3.6, it's 6,200 pounds. Really like the new back ends on the Grand Cherokees. They look really good. Now this is a power lift gate. Your handle is right to the right of the Jeep. There is your receiver hitch cover. Um, looks like about the same amount of storage area that you would get on the old Grand Cherokees. This one does have the subwoofer, that's where they put it. And one Easter egg I found is that you get all the different models of the previous Grand Cherokee um, silhouettes on the window there, that's pretty cool. You also get a Wrangler climbing up that side um, window as well. And they don't have anything on the back window that's cool, but anyways. You do get a spare tire back here. That's for your front license plate. Um, a 12 volt power point back here. Those seats fold down. We'll fold those down in just a second. And then you have a power gate. You press that button. It'll beep at you three times. And on the third time it comes down, actually beeps at you a total of four times. And I'm not really sure what that button does. I'm sure if you have your, I'm guessing if you have your keys on you, it'll automatically lock the vehicle. Um, has the capless fuel fill, which is a really nice feature. There's no lock on the fuel tank, so you just have to press it to open it, which is nice. And also note, you get the chrome trim on the top of the door handles. This one has heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, directional signals in those mirrors. Inside the Overland package gives you the black global black leather interior, the white stitching over, overland embossed into the backrest. Now these are the massaging seats and probably my new favorite feature on the Grand Cherokees. Auto headlamps, um, tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Notice you get the ambient lighting underneath the dash there. That's pretty cool. And that actually goes all the way along the door. The nice wood grain trim, memory driver seat. That's for your massage seat, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. And to fold these in, you get to turn that down. And then they fold out and then to Get them to go back out, you just turn it back up. So to get them to go in, you just turn this down and then they'll go in, as you can see, and to get them out, they'll go like that. We'll hop inside, check out the instrument cluster, the radio, and everything that this vehicle has to offer on the interior. So you get the big instrument cluster right there. And uh, just give me a second here. Doesn't really tell me the size on that. I think it's a 10.25 um, length on there. Anyways, you get a digital speedometer. You can have all your different um, setups on there and you can, you know, choose whatever you want. This one has the adaptive cruise control. Um, all that good stuff. The heated leather wrapped steering wheel. You get the nice new Jeep logo on there. Cruise controls and adaptive cruise controls on the right. 
Bluetooth information center controls on the left, you have the paddle shifters, audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. So while they changed the look of the steering wheel, they didn't change like the button layout. So everything should be familiar if you're a Jeep driver already. Get the nice chrome trim on the uh, bottom of the steering wheel and the wood grain insert right there. So this here is the 10.1 inch Uconnect 5 radio. So what's really nice about this radio is that it's faster than the old 8.4 uh, 4C radio. This is technically the Uconnect 5. It's run on Android. It's uh, five times faster than the old radio. So a lot of new technology that's gone into this vehicle. Uh, you get the factory navigation system on there. Um, and then you have your lane departure stability control and parking sensors on there as well. Uh, you have all your different apps. So you have AM, FM, you have your ambient lighting so you can change those colors underneath the dash. Like I'll change it to yellow, white, aqua, and you can also change the floor lighting. So you can make that dark blue, yellow, or red. Can't see it right now because it's too bright in here, but um, you can do all that. There's just a million things that we could go over on this radio. Um, you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can do those wirelessly now. That's pretty sweet. Um, you can do your audio settings, your heated seats, your driver ventilated seat, your massage seats. Um, this one has the Macintosh sound system in it. And uh, just a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Um, can check out your rear view camera you can see that they've made those um, HD crystal clear you can also zoom in over your receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time and um, yeah we could spend a lot of time on this radio also has the um, off-road pages so this gives you your steering angle you can see that changes as I change as I move the steering wheel transfer case Accessory gauges, pitch and roll, you have your latitude, your longitude, your altitude, your select terrain, and that can go when you do the QuadraTrack 2 system. You can see as I press that button, that changes. Right now it's in sand, mud, snow, auto, and then sport gives me the drag strip there. So that's pretty cool. Here's your Quadra lift system, so your um, auto leveling air system there. Wireless cell phone charge pad, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack. You can get a four-wheel drive low setting, has a neutral setting for flat towing, and then downhill assist control. Notice I got the key entry in the cup holders here. There's a little spot to hold that. It does have keyless entry, remote start, and power lift gate. Um, just kind of take note of how nice that dash wraps around. This one also has the panoramic sunroof, so second row fixed glass, power sunroof in the front. You have assist and SOS buttons up here. You get the nice gloss black trim on there, and then sunroof and sunshade controls. You also have your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, and then you get your rear view video camera display. So this is actually taking a video display of what's behind you. Now you can change these if you want to make it dimmer or brighter. And then you can also lower it or raise it depending on what type of driving you're doing. Or you can just turn it off and then it's a normal rear view mirror. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the back seats and then I'm going to do a final walk around with all the lights on so that you can see this thing all lit up. So the back seats this is how they look, latch, child safety system. You do get two cup holders back here. And these seats do fold down, of course. You can see how nice and flat they fold down, which has always been kind of the nice thing with Grand Cherokees is, is how convenient they are to use and easy they are to use. I mean, I can put the seats down, put them back up one hand, Floor mats back here. 
you do get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two more USBs, two more USB-Cs. These back seats are heated on the outboard sides, and you do get rear air controls back here as well. You get the sunshade, which is pretty sweet. And that goes just like so. They kind of just lock into place there. We get that wood grain trim on the back. And uh, I believe it's got the ambient lighting underneath there as well. Child safety locks on the back doors. Get the Macintosh emblem back here. And I think I already have all the lights on, so we'll do our final walk around here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today, and I hope you liked it. Hope you uh, got a really good look at this 2022 WL Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Just a really sweet ride. This is the next generation of Jeep right here. This will probably be, once again, one of our best sellers. And uh, just excited to be able to get a video of it. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on our YouTube channel where we do videos of our new and used inventory each and every day. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Jeep Grand Cherokee videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle in our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the all-new 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee two-row. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.